2022 is here. Happy New Year to all my ball sprayers. I hope you had an amazing New Year's in your living room, chilling with a couple of glasses of cider, eating 12 grapes, and fronting like you was gonna go out somewhere, but really, you wasn't. Now, we're gonna start off the year with another GQ Essentials video, since the last one did really good and a lot of people wanted me to make this more of a segment type thing. So I said, why not? Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can see some more essentials and see if there's some smell goods that we need to check out. Bless the morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C3U3B3A. 2022, wow. I mean, this is incredible. I don't know where 2021 went. It came and just booked it. I don't even remember the year. New York generally has four seasons. We went through like 1.8 seasons. Like the shit just transitioned so quick. The year went by so fast that I don't remember any of it. But 2022 is gonna be an amazing year. I'm gonna break another 50,000 on this channel and y'all gonna help me do it because I need plaques for days. So I picked a couple of clips from the GQ Essentials line that I thought were kind of cool and interesting and I figured why not. So the first YouTube clip is by a gentleman that goes by the name of Binging with Babish. This man is a YouTuber like me so we got that camaraderie flow only he can cook his ass off and honestly only number two to Morgan Freeman as the voice of God. This guy's got some bass in his voice, unlike me who looks like he's 65 with a voice of a 12 year old. So let's jump into the video. Next up is... Uh... So right from Rip, this is a fragrance I'm not familiar with. And I didn't even know that Frank Mueller made fragrances. Now Frank Mueller is known in the watch world. Now he had a lot of beautiful design watches and it had a nice little tier of hype at some point but it slowly kind of dwindled down into like a mediocre plane. Still there are a couple of watch pieces that Frank Mueller made that I will be getting because I do like them aesthetically not so much by their horological history or anything like that. Yes, I have a jewelry channel and I like watches, link below. So I like watching these GQ essentials when there's fragrances that I've never heard of and really spark a curiosity. So I jumped on for granted as soon as I saw the fragrance and I decided let me look up the notes and I'll spit them for you before we continue the video because I'm sure this is a fragrance that maybe you guys aren't up on either. So mandarin, orange, bergamot, grapefruit, lemon, rosemary, basil, clary, sage, violet, ozonic notes, lavender, rose, forest root, cardamom, pink pepper, pepper, patchouli, vetiver, amber, vanilla, and musk. Now, looking at these notes doesn't blow me away. I feel that this is going to be something that's a familiar scent profile. I could be wrong, but that's just me profiling it right from Rip. But, doesn't take away the fact that I'm kind of curious to smell on it. Let's go. Next up is uh, my uh, c cologne. I believe in smelling good. I don't think it costs a lot to smell good. You can smell good using a very limited budget, but I wanted to Packs. try to get like a, a really curated scent. So I got this when I was in Paris. I went to Paris for the first time last year and I went to a cool parfumery and I had every intention of having like one of those custom scents made, but I smelled this and I was like, this is all that is man. I threw it on. That's a bold statement. So on his trip to Europe, he's like, yo, let me get some custom joint, right? I want to be exclusive. I want to smell something. And then just happen to find something on shelf that just resonated with him and made him feel amazing and special. And that's the beautiful thing about perfumery, right? That you want to go in with that exclusive factor and that idea to separate yourself from everyone else. But then you encounter something that maybe the perfumer already did for you. And I think that's the case in a lot of it. I know a lot of people want to have their own custom shit and really curate their own scent and be separating themselves from the rest. But there's also like 50 million fragrances out there that best believe a ton of people are not going to be wearing around you. So that can be your signature scent with you separating yourself without you having to curate or generate or ask somebody to make your own fragrance. Just my opinion. It's called Crazy Hours by Frank M Frank Mueller of Geneva. It's, it smells good. I like it. You would like it too if you could smell that it. That dude's voice is just built for radio or voiceovers as some holy spirit. 
So I think that's very interesting fragrance. That's something I really feel that I might just want to sample to see if the hype is real because everybody interprets things differently. And I may have smelled more fragrances than him, so therefore I might find it a little bit basic bitchish, but to him, this is all that is man. Next one. The next one is a hip hop icon in the South. That's Jeezy, Snowman. I mean, if you are in my age bracket, and you didn't have a snowman t-shirt back in the day, who was you? And best believe that t-shirt was a extra tall, four X's at least, down to your knees, you was wearing some sort of bandana and a fitted that was turned to the, I mean, you was rocking the snowman tee. Now let's see what snowman likes to smell like. Get it. Aventus, I mean, I'm not surprised. Aventus, the king of the world. Everybody loves Aventus. I don't dislike Aventus. I've said it, I don't know how many times people seem to interpret that I hate Aventus. I don't. It works, and it works very well, so it causes a lot of people to buy the shit, rock it, abuse the shit out of it. The problem is that a lot of people around you, at least in my circle, might be smelling the same way. Maybe not around yours, so you will still have that exclusive factor. But Aventus is Aventus and will always be Aventus. I mean, I don't see any point of Aventus really dropping down in hype, because the shit works. It has to smell good, you know, some a little Aventus. This is my everyday, you know, I'm a Bacla Rock guy. Dang, keeping it light. Um, a little, little 300, uh, baby. Now and then. But this is like my everyday, just throw on and make sure I'm fresh. And walk out the house and um, you know I'm smelling good. You gotta feel good, look good, and smell good. So that's a fact. You gotta look good, feel good, and smell good. Now he indicated that he's more of a Baccarat Rouge type dude. So Baccarat Rouge 540 being another fragrance that has that same staple quality as Aventus, but has more of a sweet factor and more of a unisex factor than Aventus does. Now, as a dude that you can kind of gauge where he's at, he's looking for that luxurious smell, that sexy smell, that I want attention no matter what. I'm an artist, I'm in front of the limelight, so therefore, I'm gonna make my presence known, Baccarat or Aventus. This is like essential for me. You gotta have this. Seven smells like three. snowman. Smells like a snowman. You know, I had the snowman t-shirt and I was like, damn, this dude's really infatuated with snow. He must love skiing. I have no idea why there's so much snow. I didn't know it snowed that much in the South. Next one. The next one is an artist by the name of PNB Rock. And I'm gonna be honest with you. No idea who you are, my guy. Much respect to you. Clearly you're doing well in life, but I don't know who you are. May know your music. Music, but I may not. Listen, I'm old and washed up. You throw a little Anita Baker, some 112, and some SWV, and I'm happy as shit. PMB Rock, the only thing PMB I knew was a clothing brand back in the day that used to rock on the block called PMB Nation. Other than that, don't know who you are, my guy, but let's see what you're smelling like. My third essential gonna be that Le Labo. I like to move around. Musk 25 by Le Labo. Never smelled it. Clearly I'm anticipating that it's musky, but let's check up the notes on those. Musk, aldehyde, ambergris, lily of the valley, rose, patchouli, vetiver, and cedar. I mean, Le Labo, I have this weird relationship with Le Labo. I mean, <sighs> some hit, some don't. Some I find them just obnoxiously harsh on my nose. I don't know why. Maybe it's how they make it in, you know, at the spot. I love the store. I love the experience. I love to see the people just putting all the shit in the beaker and putting your label on it and you'd be putting, you know, a big dick barley on it, whatever the fuck you want to put on it. But some of the fragrances just don't do it for me. I do like some of them and honestly, I like them in the air, but wearing them, a couple of them, including Santal 33 is just, piercing to my nose and really cause this wild headache, but maybe Must 25 is different. I like to move around with different fragrances. It's one of my newer fragrances that I just got put on. My bae put me on this. Pretty Shout much it's cool me. because like when you when you get in it made, she FaceTime me. Like they literally like making it in front of your face. Like there's not nothing that you're just gonna buy out of the store. They literally making this in front of your face. And it's like real personalized. Like on my bottle, Bay wrote on there, rock big daddy energy. No kizzy. Yeah, but it's a good fragrance that stick with you all day. This right here is number 25, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got different levels, levels. There's definitely levels to this fragrance game. Maybe this is something that I need to smell. Maybe Big Rock Energy is something that I need to smell in my space to see if Must 25 is worth it. Next one. The next one is Odell Beckham Jr. Now this one was a clip that was essential for me to put into this segment. Why? 
you'll see the fragrance that he's decided to rock. Unforgivable by Sean John. Let's give this man a fucking round of applause because as a millionaire, a millionaire, you do not need to spend two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a fragrance to smell good. Your man is literally rocking a twenty dollar fragrance, 20 bucks, as part of his essential $20. I don't watch sports, but he already gets props. $20, Sean John, unforgivable, solid fragrance, a great cheapie. I wore the dick out of this joint back in the day. It works. It has the same space of Creed, Millicene, Imperial. The shit works for $20, fam. Let's go. Gotta keep the smell. <laughs> The smell good on you. Um, and it's just funny, this is kind of like, this is probably one of the first colognes I ever bought like myself. Someone got it for me and I just, it's just kind of like my scent, you know? It's just something that I've had for the longest time. It's like me, like it just smells like me. And whoever else uses it, but it's just my scent really, that's how I feel. That's a beautiful thing. That's what it's all about. Not the price point per se, is what the scent does for you. The memory that it produces, the feeling that you get when you wear that. The people around you, when you decide to make something like that your signature scent, will know, oh shit, Odell's coming through. Odell just walk here. Oh, he just took a shit in there because I can smell the shit mixed with Sean John Unforgivable. I get it. That is smart and that's a great way to end this video because again, a few fragrances that I've never smelled different price points. I don't assume that Frank Mueller is going to be crazy expensive at all. And we're talking about Sean John Unforgivable. Solid, solid piece. And it just works well. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Like, share, and subscribe. I will be doing this again if you guys request it. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. 2022 Cuba. Smooches. Put the fly gun, hold up, money fold up, on the roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in, it's long since that you would think that you